Buenas tardes. Buenas noches, perdón. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. ¿Qué tal? ¿Cómo están? Bien, ¿y usted? Mucho gusto. Todo bien, mucho gusto. Su lema. Ok. Sí, así sí. es. Good night. Thank you. Thanks for being here. Gracias por estar aquí. Jennifer. Hola a todos. Buenas noches. Hola, buenas noches. Hello. Hello. Ok. Sean bienvenidos. Vamos a empezar ya con la clase. Ya son las ocho. Ok, so let's begin with the class. Voy a tratar de estar mezclando inglés y español al mismo tiempo para que me entiendan. Si no me entienden, me dicen y yo les explico de nuevo. Ok, so let's begin. My name is, okay. me llamo Nicole Hueso Castro. Soy estudiante en idioma inglés, opción enseñanza, en la Universidad de El Salvador. Tengo un diploma de inglés de la misma universidad y actualmente me encuentro estudiando francés en la misma universidad. This is about me, ¿ok? Now, look at it. Tenemos un grupo de WhatsApp. ¿Ok? Si alguien no está en el grupo, me lo deja saber y con gusto les paso el link para que se puedan unir. Me lo dejan saber y yo les mando el link. ¿Todos están en el grupo? ¿Sí? Sí. Ok. Great. Vamos a continuar con las normas de convivencia. El botón del micrófono, por favor, siempre tiene que estar en silencio. Cuando no estemos participando, ¿verdad? En silencio. Porque así no tenemos interferencia cuando yo esté hablando a alguno de sus compañeros o yo esté presentando un video o algo. Después tenemos que, por favor, quiero... El nombre completo de ustedes en la aplicación de Zoom. Quiero el nombre completo, así como lo tiene Carla Raquel Molina de Alfaro, como lo tiene Zulema Floriselda Mendoza Ruiz. Así que, por favor, Sandra Carolina González Cortés, Jennifer Abigail Hidalgo Pineda. Así que quiero, por favor, que para el día de mañana, si pueden, cambiar y poner todo el nombre. ¿Sí? Por lo menos, si mi nombre es Griselda Nicole Hueso Castro, voy a poner todo el nombre. No solo porque mis amigos me dicen Nicole, solo Nicole, no, ¿ok? Todo el nombre, completo, por favor. Después tenemos cámara encendida. I want to see today beautiful faces, ¿ok? I can see some beautiful faces like Rosalba, like Rocío, Sandra, hello, Carla, Balbore Ascunaga, hello. Gabriela, also Adrián. I want to see your faces today. Hello, Julia. Hello, Brenda. Nice to see your beautiful faces. Let me see, Stephanie. What about you, Stephanie? Lisandro, Karen, Ángel. Por favor, quiero ver sus cámaras encendidas. Quiero ver caras bonitas el día de hoy. And I can see beautiful faces today. Okay. Por favor, enciendan sus cámaras. Así hacemos más o menos esto. We are going to continue with another one. La participación activa. Quiero que ustedes estén participando tantas veces como quieran. Si quieren participar 10 veces, 10 veces pueden participar. ¿Okay? A mí me gustan los voluntarios. Así que si yo digo, do I have a volunteer? I want to listen to you. ¿Okay? Do I have a volunteer? Quiero escucharlos, quiero voluntarios en ese caso. No tengo luz en mi casa. Ok, no se preocupe Ángel, no hay problema. Para el día de mañana, primero Dios, voy a poder ver su cara. Uso de chat, así como lo acaba de hacer Ángel. Si tienen algo que decirme, en el chat lo pueden hacer sin ningún problema. ¿Cómo enciende la cámara, Stephanie? Desde el teléfono, ahí tiene que tener un, un botoncito como que si fuera una cámara de video. Presiona ahí y ya lo enciende. ¿Ok? Así que vamos a tener el uso de chat por si quieren decirme algo. Que están con hambre, que están aburridos, que ya se aburrieron de mí. Algo así me lo pueden decir en el chat. Levantar la mano si quieren participar, por favor. Para ser ordenados y así no tenemos 
un montón de gente hablando al mismo tiempo. Like in el mercado Colón, right? A lot of people talking. Así que vamos a levantar la mano si vamos a participar. Y siempre mantener el respeto hacia mí y hacia ustedes. Estos serían las normas de convivencia. Ahora vamos a ver tareas y evaluaciones. Con respecto a las tareas, es necesario que obtengan el 80% en promedio de tareas y evaluaciones para poder completar el curso. Las tareas las van a encontrar en la plataforma de, de este programa y también se recomienda trabajar en ellas justo después de cada clase. Clase aprendida, tarea hecha. Claro que pueden adelantar el contenido, si ustedes ya se saben el tema, pueden ir adelantando sus tareas, no hay problema. Y recuerden que todas las tareas tienen que estar completas antes de cada viernes a la medianoche. Todas las tareas completas para viernes antes de la medianoche. Y claro, el material de apoyo, como en este caso esta presentación, si ustedes la quieren, yo se las comparto con gusto. Solo me dejan saber por el grupo o me dicen aquí, pase la presentación por favor y yo con gusto se las paso. Igual la grabación de la clase, si ustedes la quieren, me la piden y se las paso. Después, como ya dije, lo, la asistencia al 80% de las clases. Así que, por favor, los necesito aquí en el 80% de cada clase. Si es el 100%, better, mejor. El inicio de clases es ahora, 14 de agosto, y vamos a finalizar el 7 de septiembre. Ese día vamos a finalizar con el curso. En los horarios establecidos, que sería de 8 a 9. La cámara encendida, como ya se los dije, así que, por favor, una vez más para recalcarlo, cámaras encendidas para ver caras bonitas el día de ahora y alegrarme. Después, tenemos que las clases van a durar 60 minutos, una hora. Solo una hora van a estar conmigo. Así que les pido que participen. Después, esto que hace los días, van a trabajar en los ejercicios en la plataforma y al final van a obtener un diploma de participación. ¿Todo claro hasta ahorita? Yes. No. All clear? Yes. Ok. So we are going to continue. Vamos a continuar tareas y evaluaciones. Durante esta semana vamos a ver sección 1 y 2. En la semana 2 vamos a ver la sección 3. Y esto que se llama midterm. Este midterm lo van a encontrar en la plataforma. Que es prácticamente actividades. ¿Qué van a hacer? En la semana número 2. Semana número 3. Sección 4. Y en la última semana que vamos a estar juntos, sección 5 y un examen final. Fácil, porque como a ustedes les encanta estudiar, facilito eso, en dos segundos y lo tienen hecho, ¿ok? So that's going to be for the last week, para la última semana. Empecemos entonces, ahora sí. We are going to start with the verb be, el verbo ser o estar en español. The verb be. Look at it. We have an objective. By the end of this lecture, participants will be able to greet and introduce themselves using the verb to be. En español. Al finalizar la clase, los estudiantes van a ser aptos o capaces de saludar y presentarse ellos mismos utilizando el verb be. El verbo ser o estar. Mm -hmm. Let's start with this. Verb be. In English, we have the verb be that's going to be am, um, is, and are. We have three. Am, um, is, and are. Okay? Repeat after me. Am, um, is, and are. Three. And those verbs, estos verbos, van a cambiar dependiendo del sujeto. No todos van a ser con el mismo sujeto. Por ejemplo, with the subject I. ¿Qué es I en español? ¿Alguien sabe? I. Yo. 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 Perfecto. Muchas gracias. Yo. En este caso, thank you so much. With the subject I. I'm going to use 
am. I am. Yo soy o yo estoy. I am. Miren los labios. I am. Cerraditos. I am. Closed. Después tenemos is. The verb is. And we are going to use it for the subject she, he, and it. Entonces vamos a decir she is, he is, and it is. Repeat after me. She is, he she is, is, he is, he is, he is, he is, and it is. It. It, it, it. it is. Thank you so much. ¿Qué significa she, he, e it? ¿Alguien sabe qué significa eso en español? Ella, él y eso. Ella. Muchas gracias. Ella, él y eso. Como pueden darse cuenta, it lo ocupamos para cosas. Como puede ser un animal, un cuaderno, un teléfono, por ejemplo, una raqueta. Puede ser. Entonces tenemos esos tres y para ellos vamos a ocupar he, she, it, is. En todo vamos a ocupar is. Luego tenemos are. Para el verbo are vamos a ocupar los siguientes sujetos. They, we, and you. Entonces vamos a decir they are, we are, and you are. Are. Repeat after me. They are. They, they are, are. They are. We are. We are. We are. We are and you, you are. are. You, you are. are. Thank you so much. Good pronunciation. Thank you so much. Hasta aquí. ¿Dudas o preguntas? No. Okay, we are clear as water. Okay, we are going to continue. Vamos a continuar. Aquí tenemos, dígame Rosa. Buenas noches. Buenas noches. Este, dijo que el it se ocupaba solo para objetos y animales. Sí. Este va a ser el único. Que ocupamos para objetos o animales. ¿Todo bien? Sí. Ok. Thank you so much for your question. Let's continue. Aquí tenemos examples. E ejemplos. Examples. Number one. I am happy. I am happy. Estoy feliz. I am happy. Sandra, can you help me? I am happy. Thank you. Good pronunciation. You are Hungry, Jennifer Abigail. You, you are, are hungry. Hungry. Thank you. Hungry. Are you hungry? Yes. No. Hambrienta. Um, hambre? Yes. Yes. Right. <laughs> I am hungry. Also, I'm hungry. Another example. She is beautiful. Like Rocío, Rosalba, Brenda, Julia, and all of the girls right here. She is beautiful. Julia, ¿puede ayudarme con la pronunciación? She is beautiful. She, she is beautiful. Thank you so much. Good pronunciation. He is strong. Let me see. Lady. He is strong. Thank you. ¿Alguien sabe qué significa strong? Fuerte. 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 Exactly. Fuerte. I am not strong. Okay? Fuerte. Another one. It is white. It is white. Adriana Lisette, can you help me with the pronunciation? It's white. Thank you so much. Good pronunciation. Por ejemplo, si vemos un gatito en la calle... Y a blanco, podemos decir, it is white. It is white. Otro. We are in class. Rocío Gabriela, can you help me with the pronunciation? We are in class. 
Thank you so much. Good pronunciation. Another one. You are students. Lisandro, can you help me, please? You are the students. Thank you, Lisandro. Let me see. Clemmy won. No se preocupe, Clemmy. Tratemos de solventar el problema para el día de mañana. Ella no puede encender ni la cámara ni el micrófono. Que no hay problema. Solo me lo dejan saber en el chat. Another one. Let's continue. They are sad. Let me see. Eh, Nancy Cruz. Can you help me with the pronunciation? They are sad. Go ahead. Nancy? Nancy, hello. ¿Puede ayudarme con la pronunciación? Tiene problemas con el audio. Ok, no hay problema. No hay problema. Gracias por dejármelo saber. Brenda Villalta. Can you help me with the pronunciation, please? They are sad. Thank you so much. They are sad. Thank you. Look at it. We have, in English, it exists contraction. Contractions. Hacemos las cosas más cortas en inglés. Contractions. Cortitas. Entonces, en lugar de decir, I am happy, podemos decir, I'm happy. Más corto. I'm happy. Gabriela Rivera, can you help me with this? I'm happy. Thank you. Good pronunciation. I'm happy. Más corto. El otro. You're hungry. You're hungry. Karen Selina, can you help me, please? You're hungry. Thank you. Yes, I am hungry. <laughs> okay, another one. She's beautiful. Raquel, can you help me? She's beautiful. Thank you so much. Good pronunciation. Another one. He's strong. He's strong. Sandra Veronica, can you help me? Oh, I cannot listen. No puedo escucharla. No problem. No hay problema. Yo sé que ahí está porque tiene la cámara encendida. Let me see another one. Ángel Alvarado. Can you help me with this? Ángel Alvarado. He's strong. Thank you so much. What about this one? It's white. Marcela Navas. It's white. It's white. Thank you so much. We're in class. Let me see who can help me. Arlet. Arlet or Arlete? How it is? Arlet? Let. Okay. Arlet, can you help me? We're in class. Thank you so much. Good intonation. Balmore Ascunaga. Your students. Your student. Thank you so much. Another one. Let me see. They're sad. Sulema, can you help me? They're sad. Thank you so much. Alguien sabe la diferencia entre este? Your students y your hungry. Alguien sabe? Nadie sabe? El singular y el plural. Thank you so much. Who was that? ¿Quién fue? Adriana. Mariana. Adriana. 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 Ok. Thank you so much. Esa es la diferencia. Uno es en singular y el otro es plural. Aquí digo usted, tú o vos estás hambriento. Por ejemplo, Adrián, usted está hambriento. You're hungry. Solo tenemos un Adrián, una persona. You're hungry. En este caso, si digo your students, estoy hablando more than one. 
más de uno. Estoy hablando de varios. Yo puedo decir, you are students, in plural. ¿Ok? So that's the difference. Plural and singular. Now we are going to watch a video about the verb be. So let me know if you are able to listen to it. Déjenme saber si pueden escucharlo. I will play it. Hi, everyone. In this class, you'll learn how... Yes? No? Yes. Okay. Thank yes. you so much. Here we go with the video, so pay attention. ...to introduce yourself in English. In order to do this, you'll listen to a short audio program, which you'll need to listen to and repeat. Let's get started. Hi, my name is Michael Oda. I'm Jennifer Miller. It's nice to meet you, Jennifer. Nice to meet you, too. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Miller. You may access this audio program as many times as necessary. It's recommended that you practice with someone. If you have someone to practice with, that will be great. In our next lesson, I'll teach you how to form your own conversations using your own information and the grammar involved. Okay, ese fue el video about the verb be. Hi, everyone. Oh, my God. In this class, you'll learn time. how to... No. Okay. That was the video. Right now, we are going to do a group activity. Group activity. Una actividad en grupo. Entonces, yo voy a ser estudiante uno. Y alguien me va a ayudar a ser estudiante dos. ¿Quién quiere ayudarme? ¿Tengo algún voluntario? Yo. Muchas gracias, Adrián. Entonces, usted va a ser... Estudiante 2, and I'm going to be student 1. So let's begin. Hi, my name is Nicole Hueso. I am Erasmo Salvador. It's nice to meet you, Erasmo Salvador. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Salvador. Thank you so much. Good pronunciation. Okay, so here we have vocabulary. Vocabulario. ¿Alguien sabe qué es first name? First name. Primer nombre. Primer nombre. Primer nombre. nombre. First name. Primer nombre. What about last name? Apellido. 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 Exactly. So all of us, todos nosotros tenemos first name and last name. Thank you. Now we are going to have a group activity. Let me see. Sulema, you are going to be student one and Carla will be student two. So go ahead. I want to hear you. Okay. Hi, my name is Sulema Mendoza. I'm Carla Molina. It's nice to meet you, Carla. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry. What's your last name again? It's Molina. Thank you so much. Perfect, girls. Thank you so much. Just one thing. Aha. Uh -huh. Sulema, how do we say this word? Again. Aha. Uh -huh. Again. Exactly. Good pronunciation. Thank you so much. Rosalba, it's your turn to shine. You are going to be student one. And Sandra, it's Sandra Carolina, it's going to be student two. So go ahead. Hi, my name is Rosalba Avila. Hi, Carolina Cortez. It's nice to meet you, Carolina. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Cortez. So much. Thank you, you too. You, you did it great. Now let's see, Rocio Gabriela, you are going to be student one. And Brenda Villalta, you are going to be Number two, go ahead. Hi, my name is Rocío Mena. I'm Brenda Villalta. It's nice to meet you, Brenda. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Villalta. Thank you so much, good pronunciation. Adriana Lisette, it's your turn. 
you are going to be number one. And Julia Guzman, it's going to be number two. Go ahead. Hi, my name is Adriana Molina. My name is Julia. It's, it's nice I'm to meet Julia you. Guzman. It's nice to meet you, Julia. This one. Uh huh. Nice. Nice. With you. I'm sorry. <laughs> Don't worry. I understand. I'm sorry. What's your last 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 name again? It's Usman. Thank you so much. Thank you. You too. You did it. Good. Let me see. Do I have a volunteer for the student one? Yeah. Okay. For the student number two? Yeah. Okay. You are student one. Okay. Yeah. What about student two? Yo, yeah, Karen. Sí, sí. Usted va a ser estudiante número uno, pero necesito estudiante dos. Ajá. Yo, 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 Jennifer, Jennifer, yo iba a ser la primera. Ah, okay. Jennifer is going to be one. Uh -huh. Okay, go ahead. I can listen. Con, con Carla, ¿verdad? Con, con Karen. 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 Con Karen. Okay. Hi, my name is Jennifer Hidalgo. I'm Karen Alvarado. It's nice to meet you. Carla. Karen, perdón. <laughs> nice to meet you too. The I'm sorry, what's your last night again? It's Alvarado. Thank you so much. One thing we say last name, okay? Last name. Last name. And this word, name. it is again. It is again. Again, exactly. Again. Pronunciation. Let me see another one that I didn't listen to. Mm-hmm. We have Gabriela Rivera. Gabriela? Sí. You are going to be student one and Sandra Veronica. Sandra Veronica, are you there? Está ahí, Sandra? Sandra is not here. Okay. Ay, now I can listen to you. Yes. Sí, hoy sí. Okay, you are going to be student two. Okay, go ahead. Hi, my name is Gabriela Rivera. I am Sandra Saavedra. It's nice to meet you, Sandra. Nice to meet you too. I'm sorry, what's your last name again? It's Saavedra. Good, thank you so Bye. much. Thank you so much. Ok, hasta aquí hay preguntas o dudas con pronunciación. ¿Alguna palabra nueva? Clear as water or as horchata. Ajá. As water. Ok, as water. Thank you so much. Vamos a jugar algo. El juego se llama Hi, Hello. Entonces. Yo voy a decir hi y ustedes van a decir hello. Pero si dos personas al mismo tiempo dicen hello, entonces se van a presentar usando esto. ¿Ok? Yes, clear. Ok, so let's begin. I say hi and you say hello. 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 Ajá. I didn't hear two at the same time. One more time. I say hi. You say? Hello. 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 Oh Hello. my God, a lot of people. Okay, let's start with Carla. Okay, you are going to do this. You are going to say this. Va a decir esto, pero con su información. Okay? Si no saben cómo decir su edad, no se preocupen, me dicen y yo les ayudo. Uh, I'm... Hello, I'm Carla. My last name is Molina. I'm 
36 years old. I like pink. Okay, that was awesome. Thank you so much. One more time. Hi. Hello. 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 Okay, we have Rocio, Rosa, and Karen. Three. Okay, let's begin with Rosa. Hello, I am Rosa. Uh -huh. My last name is Rivera. I am 20 years old. I agree. Perfect. Thank you so much. What about you, Rocio? Hello, I am Rocio, and my last name is Mena. I am 33. 33. <laughs> ah, it's going to be 32. 32 years old. I like pink. Okay, thank you so much. Let me see the other one. Karen, go ahead. Hello, I am Karen and my last name is Alvarado. I am 22 years old and I like purple. Okay, thank you so much, Karen. Good pronunciation. I like your intonation. Thank you. Let me see another one. One more time. Hi. Can you say? Hello. Hello. Hi. There were not two people together. One more time. Hi. Hello. 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 Mm -hmm. Adrian, it's your turn. Go ahead. Hello. I'm Erasmo. And my last name is Salvador. I am. Okay. 18 years old. I like black. Okay, you like black. Thank you so much. What about you, Stephanie Adri Adriana? Hi. My name is I am Stephanie. My last name is Orellana. I'm 31 years old. I like green. Thank you so much. Aha, uh -huh. so you say, I am Stefan. I am Stefan. Okay. And if we want it contracted, si lo queremos cortito, decimos am. Am. Thank you so much. Let me see. Sandra Carolina, your turn. Hello, I'm Carolina. And my last name is Cortez. I'm years, I'm 26 years old. I like green. Okay, thank you so much. I like green also. Let me see. Do I have a volunteer? A volunteer? Yo. Okay, go ahead. Please. Tricia? Tricia? Le toca hola. Yeah. Hello, I'm Crisia. In my last name is Calderon. I'm 30, 37 years old. And I like green. Okay, great. Thank you so much, Crisia. Let me see another one. Lisandro. Welcome, Lisandro. Hello. Okay. Hello. Can you help me with this, please? Hello. I am Lisandro, and my last name is Guevara. I am uh, 48 years old. I like green. Thank you so much, Lisandro. Nice to meet you. Let me see. Balmore Ascunaga, can you help me? Hello, I am Balmore, and my last name is Ascunaga. I am uh, 39 years old. I like Black. Thank you so much, Valmore. Nice to meet you. Brenda Villanta. Go ahead. Hello, I'm Brenda, and my last name is Villalta. I'm 44 years old. I like green. Okay, thank you so much. Aha, uh alguien -huh. más que quiera presentarse? Así practicamos. Okay. Dos. Hello. Okay. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Jennifer. Hello, I Jennifer and 
in my line name is Hidalgo. I 27 years old. I like blue. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you, Jennifer. What about you, Sandra? Hello, I am Sandra, and my last name is Saavedra. I am 43, 43, 43 years old. I like blue. Thank you so much. So we say my name, okay? Name. Exactly. Name. Great. ¿Alguien más que quiera presentarse? Vamos, dígalo. Hello, I am. Hello, I am Raquel Herrera. And my last name is Herrera. I... 29. 29? 29? Sí. 29. I am 29 years old. I like him. Thank you so much, Raquel. Let me see another one. Rosalba. I can see that you want to participate. Hello. I'm Rosalba. In my name is Avila. I'm... 41 years old. I like pink. Great. Thank you so much. I like your hair. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Let me see. Atlet, go ahead. Hello. I'm Arlet, and my last name is Retana. I'm 41 years old. I like pink. Thank you so much. Okay, so that was it about it. Let's continue. Let's move on into possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. We are going to watch a video about possessive adjectives. Vamos a ver un video sobre adjetivos possessivos. Okay, so let's go. Hi, everyone. In this class, we're going to learn how to use possessive pronouns. My, your, his, and her. Let's get started. The first thing that we're going to do is listen to a quick conversation and then I'll illustrate how the grammar is used. What's your name? My name is Jennifer. What's his name? His name is Michael. What's her name? Her name is Nicole. What equals what is? Now, let's try to make sense of the possessives. We use the possessives whenever you want to express belonging. For example, my name is John. His name is Jason. Her name is Mary. Uh, as you can see on the screen, my name is Jennifer. His name is Michael. Her name is Nicole. Let me show you a quick guide to follow in order to understand this concept. I'll write the pronouns and the possessive. So let's see if I want to talk about the pronoun I and express some kind of possessive, I'm going to use my. For you, that will be your. For he, that will be his. And for she, that would be uh, her. Uh, so, for example, uh, my name is Joe. Your name is Jason. His name is Michael. Her name is Nicole. Now, let's try to put it all together by illustrating some examples. My name is Joe. Your name is Mike. His name is Peter. Her name is Jane. Okay, so that was the video. Ese fue el video. Vamos a empezar con los adjetivos posesivos. ¿Alguien sabe qué son adjetivos posesivos? No idea? Yes? No? 
No idea. Okay, so I'm going to teach you about it. Possessive adjectives. Possessive adjectives. We have right here. Those ones are the subject that we have in English. Los sujetos que tenemos en inglés. Los acabamos de estudiar. I, you, he, she, it. We, you, and they. Entonces, los adjetivos posesivos son los que ocupamos, por ejemplo, my cell phone. My cell phone. Mi teléfono. Another one. My pen, for example. My pen. Porque el sujeto es yo. Estoy ocupando my. Pero si, por ejemplo, this notebook, este cuaderno fuera de Rosalba, yo diría her notebook. Her notebook. ¿Por qué? Porque Rosalba es ella. Y ella es she. Con she ocupamos her. Vamos a estudiarlos. With I, we use my. My cell phone, for example. You, your. Your cell phone. He, his. His cell phone. She, her. Her cell phone. It, we use its. And we use it for animals or objects. Okay? Animales u objetos. Its hair, for example. Su pelo. Un perrito, un gato. Su pelo. Its hair. We, we use or. Or class. Nuestra clase. You, your. For example, your class. This is your class. Su clase. And we have they. Their. Their home, for example. La casa de ellos. Their home. Mm -hmm. Preguntas hasta aquí? Questions about it? No questions? No? Everything is clear? Okay. So let's see. Rosa. Tell me, Rosa. Este, entonces, estos adjetivos se utilizarían como, como sustitución o, o, o cuál sería la función? Para determinar posesión. ¿De quién es el teléfono? Mío. Entonces sería mi teléfono. My. Sería my. My cell phone. Exactly. Si sí, quiero decir que es el teléfono de ustedes, you. Sería you. Sí. You. 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 Ah. Su, ustedes. Sería your cell phone. Your cell phone. Si quiero decir, por ejemplo, nuestra casa, sería or oh. oh. or home. Si quiero decir sus zapatos de ellos sería you their de ellos their they their shoes shoes their shoes. Okay? So it's going to be my repeat after me my your my your his, 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 hair, hair, its, 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 or, 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 or your, 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 and their. And their, their. Thank you so much. Okay. Questions right here. Preguntas? No? About pronunciation? Or something like that? O algo así? No? Okay. No questions. So let's move on. Vamos a hacer una práctica ya que no hay preguntas. Okay. So we are going to have a practice to see if you don't have questions. 
Vamos a ver. Let's begin. For they, which is the one that we use? Her, their, your, or my? Their. Their. Their, exactly. Let me see another one. I. My. My. My, exactly. My. Let me see. You. 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 Your. Your. Exactly. He. His. 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 Perfect. His. Let me see. For she. Her. 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 Exactly. Easy, right? This is easy for you. For it. It is. It is. Exactly. We use it for animals and objects. We are or, 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 or exactly or, or, or and the last one that we have, let me see. They what about they? They there exactly there. Let me see. So okay, so now there's no question, so we are going to do something. I want you to bring, traer algo, bring something, the thing you want, lo que quieran. In my case, I have this, a racket, okay? So this is going to be my racket, okay? So bring something. I want to see your cameras with something in your hand. I have this. Rosalba? Uh-huh. My pencil. Good, thank you. What about you, Carla? My notebook. Thank you so much. Aha, uh -huh. who else? I want to see things in your hands. What about you, Arlette? What do you have? Cargador. ¿Cómo se dice? ¿No sabe? No, okay. Charger. Charger, exactly. Charger. Let me see. I will type it in the chat. Lo voy a escribir en el chat. Sharger. Sharger. So, it's going to be my, my Sharger. Perfect. Balmore, what do you have? ¿Qué tiene en sus manos? My racket. Ah, me too. Exactly, your racket. Let yes. me see. Jennifer. My cell phone. My cell phone. Good. Crisia. My sunglasses. Okay, good. Your sunglasses. Stephanie, what do you have? My cell phone. Your cell phone. Great. Let me see. Brenda, what do you have? Scissors. Uh -huh. Scissors. Okay. So it's going to be my what? My, my sister. scissors. Okay. My scissors. Thank you so much. Good. Adriana, I can see you have something in your hand. My ball. My ball. Perfect. Yeah. Julia. My book. Your book. Okay. Rojo Blanco. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thank you. Let me see. Who else? Sandra Carolina. What do you have in your hands? My notebook. Your notebook. Great. Let me see who else. Raquel? My, my shears. Your what? Sorry? My shears. Ah, your shirt. Shirt. Like this. I will type it in the chat. My cup. Thank you so much, lady. Your cup. Uh -huh. Another one. Let me see. Who else? Adrian, what do you have? My tools. Oh, okay. Herramientas. Así se escribe herramientas. Miren. Tool. Tool. It's going to be his tools. Tools. What about you, Karen? I can see Karen Selina. You have something there? 
my bottle of water. Good. Thank you so much. What about you, Lisandro? My book. Your book. Let me see your book. Okay, good. Thank you so much. Another one? Mm -hmm. Sandra? My calendar. Your calendar. Great. Gabriela Rivera. My bottle. Your bottle. What about you, Rocio? What do you have? My towel. Okay, your towel. Great. Toalla. Eso significa toalla. Lo voy a escribir en el chat para que lo tengan. It's going to be her towel. Great. Jasmine Castro, welcome. Jasmine. Hello, Jasmine. Jasmine is not here. Mm -hmm. Okay. Remember participation, something important. Angel Alvarado, what about you? Angel Alvarado? Yes? My table. Your table, great. So you are strong, right? Because you have a table. Let me see. Another one. Crisia Yasmin Rosa Rivera. What else do you have? My pen. Sorry? My pen. Your pen. Okay. Vamos a ver. Algún otro ejemplo. Another example, guys. This notebook. Si quiero ocupar esto para ellos, ¿cómo sería la oración? Their notebook. Their notebook. Their notebook. Si esto es de él, ¿cómo sería? His, his, his notebook. His phone. His cell phone. His cell phone, exactly. His cell phone. Let me see another one. Si esto es de ella. Her Here. Her Her what? Her bottle. Her bottle. Okay. I will type it in the chat. This is the way in which we say botella. Ah, oh my God. Sorry. Botella. Like this. Bottle. Bottle. Bottle, exactly. What about this? This is a chancleta, right? How do you say chancleta in English? ¿Alguien sabe? ¿Cómo decimos chancleta? Sandals. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. It could be sandals, sandalias, or it can be also flip flops. Flip flops. Flip flops. Chanclas. Exactly. Yo quiero decir que estas chanclas son de ellos. They flip flops. What about you, lady? How do you write write uh, chanclas? How do you write in chanclas. Okay. Do you write it like this? Flip flip flops in the chat. No. You can see it in the chat. Flip flops. Okay, okay? In that way. Flip flops. Let me see another one that I can have. For example, this. ¿Qué es esto? Charger. Charger. Is it charger? Charger. 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 Uh -huh. Charger. 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 Y quiero decir que este Charger. cargador es de ella. ¿Cómo sería? Her Charger. 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 Exactly. Charger. What about this one? I have a here. Cojín. Balloon. ¿Cómo decimos uh, cojín en inglés? ¿Alguien sabe? I don't know. Pilo. You don't know? No. Pilo. No. No. Pilo. Es... Pillow. Cushion. 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 Yes. Cushion. Cushion. Porque si decimos pillow, pillow, pillow. es almohada. 
donde dormimos. En cambio, cushion está en la sala. Ok. Cushion. Going to be cushion. 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 Si quiero decir que esto es de nosotros. My cushion. Or cushion. Or, or cushion. Or cushion. Or cushion. Or cushion. Or cushion. De nosotros. Por ejemplo, Crisia. Crisia, you have here a cola, right? Can you show it? Yes. Cola. ¿Alguien sabe cómo decimos cola? I don't, I, I don't you know. You don't know? I don't no? know. Okay, there's no problem. Look at it in the chat. Tail. 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 Si quiero decir que la cola es de ellas, ¿cómo sería? Hair tail. Ah, we have something right here. Hair es solo para ella, en singular. Solo una persona. Ella. Si quiero decir ellas, sería con D. Ah, entonces, si quiero decir la cola de ella, ¿cómo sería? Their tail, exactly. What about this one that we have right here? Mouse. 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 Mouse, exactly. Si quiere decir que es mi mouse. My mouse. My mouse, exactly. Great. Thank you so much. Let me see another object, algún otro objeto que no sepan cómo se dice. No. How can I say sillón? Sillón. It could be sofa. Sofa. No. Sofa. Peine. Cartera. Okay. Okay. Hold on. One by one. Okay. Crisia. Yes, you say argollas. Argollas. Crisia. Argollas. It could be earrings. Yes, yes. I yes. second. Earrings. Mm. Okay, here we go. Aritos. Okay. Mm. Balmore, you have there something. Yes, uh, control. Control para PlayStation, right? It's going to be gamer control. Gamer control. Gamer control. Gamer control. How do you say? ¿Cómo se dice cortina? ¿Alguien sabe? Curtain. Great. That's exactly. Curtain. Look at it. Cort Cortina. Cortina. Okay. Cincho. Cincho. It's going to be belt. Cincho. Belt. Belt. Peine. Peine. It's going to be, it could be comb. Comb. I would type it in the chat. It could be comb. Peine. Um, y, y campana, ¿cómo se dice? Bell. Bell. Campana. Like in se Christmas. Pare... Campanas. Ok. Bell. Ok. Si quiero Bell. decir que la campana es de Balmore, ¿cómo diríamos? Ajá. Uh -huh. His bell. His bell. Exactly. Ok. So, guys. I think that that's going to be all for today. So la, said, la pronunciación de campana y de cincho se parecen, ¿verdad? Yes, they are similar. Belt and belt. En una agregamos T, en cincho belt. agregamos T. Y en la otra hacemos la L larga. Bell. 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 Y en cincho es belt. belt. La L es corta. Belt. Okay. Belt. belt. Esa sería la diferencia en pronunciación. Yeah. Ok. Sorry, lady. Bell and bell. No, no, no. Exactly. <laughs> The pronunciation. Ok. No, no, no. So, guys. Bell, bell. Exactly. This is going to be all for today. So for tomorrow, now you know, I want your camera 
on, okay? And I want you to participate, okay? So that's going to be basically all for today. And I hope to see you tomorrow, okay? So bye-bye. Have a good night. Something. Si quieren la clase, me lo dejan saber en el chat de WhatsApp y se las mando, okay? So that's going to be all for today. Bye bye. Have a good bye bye, night. teacher. Bye. Thank bye you. Bye. 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 See you tomorrow. Nice. See you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye bye. Bye bye, bye, -bye little butterfly.